Good morning, good evening, or good night, wherever in the world you are. Hope you are having a good day, and welcome to your latest Nottingham Forest news. Guys, it's Saturday, and there's no football on, and I know, you know, there are reasons for it. But man, I missed it already. So I thought I'd put a quick video together, rounding up all the latest for Forest news, should I say. We will be covering off a transfer that has fallen through. An update on the fixtures list as the Fulham match may now be in doubt as well. We'll give you the details on that and all the other nitty gritty stuff that's going on in and around the city ground. Before we go any further, guys, if you too are bored and just on YouTube looking for anything forest related, well, thank you for coming here. But if you'd be kind enough to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you'd like to support us, please join the membership for 99p. And thank you to all of those who have helped us on Amazon. We are now officially an Amazon influencer and we have a web page set up where we will be showing you all the best deals on Amazon. So if you would like to pick yourself up an Amazon Echo, which is now reduced down to $21.99 or do what I did and upgrade to the Amazon Show, which has 30% off for $51.99. Please click the links below. And as a thank you as well, we have a link to a 30 day free trial to Amazon Music, which you can access completely for free and has over 9 million songs on there. So with all that said, guys, let's get into the news. OK, let's start with the news of Emberso and his transfer that we brought to you a couple of days ago to Turkey. Now that has fallen through as Emberso has decided to stay at Nottingham Forest as he feels his best option is to fight for his place in the team. And of course, under the supervision of Steve Cooper, he feels his development will be better served at the city ground. So that one was very close to getting completed. I would have preferred to see him go out to the Turkish League on a loan move because I feel he would have got more football there, more experience and come back a better and stronger player. But his decision has been to stay at Nottingham Forest. Forest willing to let him go. But his decision, as I said, the dis final decision, should I say, lied with him. And he is remaining at Nottingham. So let me know if you think that's good or bad for him in the comments down below. Moving on to the next bit of news, which is, of course, the fixture news. We know, obviously, the Leeds match has been cancelled after the passing of the Queen. And uh, there is now further threats of the next weekend's match fixtures being cancelled, which, which will include Forest versus Fulham on Friday night. This will be because of the funeral that's going to be taking place on the 19th, which will be the bank holiday Monday as it is now. And what that means is the redeployment of the police officers, etc. may cause this to not go ahead. However, the guidance from the government has not yet changed and they have left it in the FA's hands to decide whether or not these fixtures should be cancelled. And I think the pressure from the football fan base will be to go ahead with these games because if we do not play this Fulham match next Friday, then that means the next Forest match we will have due to the international break will have been four weeks, aka a month, since we last played Boring Mouth to the next Forest fixture which I believe will be Aston Villa off the top of my head. That's just too much of a lack of football for my liking. We've just got back into the swing of the Premier League. We've had five, six matches so far. I've had a taste for it and I want more. And there is a lot of people commenting to me saying, well, the longer it takes, the better because Nia Kata and Mangala will get fit. It will give the players time to gel as a squad together with more time on the training pitch with Steve Cooper and his staff. I understand that and I do tend to agree somewhat with it. I really like the idea of Nia Kata getting time between matches. So in essence, instead of him being able to play, say, 35 games a season, uh, sorry, instead of him being able to play 30 games a season, we may get 33 out of him, subject to him not getting injured anymore. So I do like that. Where I don't agree is about the gelling. There is only so much gelling that can happen on a training pitch. You need real match scenarios to have been taken place for the players to get a feel for each other against an opposition 11. For me, the best gelling happens the more games you play throughout the season. So this may actually, in my opinion, delay the gelling process on the pitch. Yes, they will get to know each other better on the training pitch. Yes, they'll get to understand Cooper's philosophy and his methods. But in terms of real match time for someone who spent a lot of time in and around football pitches and of course doing my own coaching now, 
there's nothing like a real match and it can't be simulated as well off the pitch. So that's my opinion on it. Do you agree or disagree? I kind of agree and disagree depending on, on what parts you're looking to argue with. But that's where I think we are. Now, do I think the fixtures will be cancelled this week? I can't see it. I think there's too much pressure on the FA to go ahead with them. I think it will come down to a policing opinion and whether or not the police can provide the manpower required up and down the country across the matches. So I'll keep you posted on that. Let me know, though, do you think those matches should be postponed or not in the comments down below. Finally, for me, a quick update on the Brighton manager situation as Steve Cooper has been moved into the second favourite position with the bookies behind Nutson, who manages FC Budo or Bodu. I don't know how to pronounce them. It's a Norwegian team, so apologies if I've butchered that. I still haven't changed my opinion on this. I still think there's no way Cooper will leave Nottingham Forest. It does. The bookies may as well make him favourites because people are just going to lose money on it, in my opinion. There is still no doubt ongoing talks between him and Maranakis about the contract, which is there in principle and agreed in principle. That's one of the reasons why I don't think it's going to happen. They verbally agreed everything. Everything's just sitting there waiting for the ink to be put to the paper. I don't think Cooper is a man to go back on his word as well. That's another thing, especially as we've mentioned a hundred times this week, the way he's been backed. But just to give you a quick update on it, he is now second favourite with the bookies to go to Brighton. Brighton's not a big enough club for Steve Cooper. If it's not Forrest he's at, then he needs a Champions League club as a minimum, in my opinion. But as always, let me know your thoughts down below. That will wrap up the news for day today. It's a bit of a slow one, but hey, I can only give you what's happening. So apologies for that. Any thoughts and comments, as always, put them in the comments. If you'd like to like the video, if you'd like to like the video, please do like the video by hitting the like button. Oh my God, that's so many likes. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Become a member, get all your perks, including the forest emojis for 99p. And go check out those special offers we got for you on Amazon. The links are in the description below now. And anything you buy, Amazon will give me a slight kickback to say thank you for guiding you to that channel, to their site. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next forest update. And come on, you Reds.